Here we have a pre-owned 2017 Nissan Rogue in the S trim level. This color is gun metallic. And then we have the almond cloth interior. For the powertrain, we get a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine, made it to the CVT. And this one has just a little over 120,000 miles on it. So we'll see how it's held up. But as we get to the front end here, love that this one has the LED daytime running lights on this S model. Grill looks pretty good. Halogen headlamps, just a little bit of road rash across the front here. Nothing really noticeable unless you get up on it. And for the wheels, we do get 17 inch steel with the wheel covers. Tread on the tire seems to be in good shape. This one has Michelin defenders on all four. But we have power mirror controls. We have one touchdown for the driver's side window, regular power windows on the other three doors, power door locks, rear window lock, drive modes, traction control, gas cap, hood, foot pedal brake for the emergency, or the parking brake, excuse me. And then we have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. But there's the manual driver's seat and you see this almond is kind of like a light tan. Now pumping up that seat, it was a little noisy, but still worked perfectly fine. And I had that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna check out the room here. So leg room, not bad, especially for this to be a small SUV. We do get seat back pockets on both sides. Headroom back here is great for me. Rear AC vents, middle seat. You can see that's the seat leaned up and that's how much room you have to lean it back. So pretty impressive. And then you can pull this strap here to release the middle seat. Gotta use both hands. And then bottle holders are there in the middle. Grab handle here. So you'd have to hang your shirts or whatever on there. We don't have a separate hook which is no big deal. That's how we used to do it back in the day. At least I think I wasn't doing that back in the day, but anyways, there's a look at the back underneath exhaust pipe there. And a big shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for letting me review this Rogue today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But you can fold these up or remove them if you want to. And then you have a spare underneath there. And then 12 volt. But ample space back here, I think. Gas cap there. Just had a little bit of a side swipe here. Nothing too noticeable. But you could take this, pull the strap here to recline the seat, move it up or fold it all the way down. You can run longer objects through to the front and then your tethers right there. And then your anchors for the car seat are hidden back in there. Then we have a four-way manual driver seat or manual front passenger seat, excuse me. So we can adjust the seat back there, seat bottom by pulling up on that bar. Glove compartment, we still have the owner's manuals in here. But as we come back around to the front, just a quick look in the engine bay. The latch is a little rough. And there's that 2.5 naturally aspirated four cylinder. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat next. So we have the vinyl wrap steering wheel. Test out the horn. Love the sound. I was expecting it to be a little wimpy, but not the case here. Very impressed. Now to the radio, we do get AM, FM, XM, XM, Bluetooth, iPod, and an aux input as well. And then we have the iPod menu. We can pull all that up. And all these buttons are pretty self-explanatory here. Radio presets there, volume up, down, click that to turn the audio off. Click there to go through your settings. You can adjust bass, treble, your fade, all of that. And then single zone, manual climate controls, fan speed there, AC toggle, fan direction. Then you can turn it all the way to the left, turn the whole system off. USB-A, aux, 12 volt, little phone storage there when something's plugged in. Shift lock right there. 
and then you can pull the lever reverse neutral drive come over here and you get those quote unquote manual shifts that you would get on a traditional transmission but it just lets you shift there if you want to the rest of the transmission if you will but bottle holders extra storage center console cubby space with a 12 volt sunglasses holders here and then i do like that we get these nice bulbs here in the middle but there's like the back seat from up here vanity mirror there now back to the steering wheel blinkers high beams flash there and then intermittent wipers one time off intermittent low high we can adjust that intermittent there and then we have a rear wiper off intermittent on there push back for that rear wiper fluid pull up for the front wiper fluid and then over here left side of the steering wheel volume trackless radio station presets we can use these four arrows to go through our sub menus as well as within each sub menu when applicable we can go through all of that and then when you're in the settings you can change your meter settings here if you want to change your main menu selection things of that nature so a lot you can do there standard cruise turn that on or off adjust the speed cancel and then we have the voice recognition and the bluetooth buttons there and then here's the key with the key fob and i'll just let you listen to this start up but next let's go ahead and take this 2017 nissan rogue s out on the road for a test drive <laughs> 